Yo, hello guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are looking to sell products online, having a website is must. Webly is a popular website builder that allows you to create an online store and sell products easily. In this video, we will show you how to add products to your Webly website. We will cover everything from the process from creating product pages to adding product images, descriptions, and prices. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, first thing first, and as always, I will need you to go to the URL section on your browser. So simply go ahead and go to this section over here or in the middle. So let's go. Here search for Wibbly. And from here, just click on the first website that will be appearing for you, which is this one. So let's go to it. And simply as you can see, create your website through here. So click on create your website. And they will take you to that page. Here you just have to sign up. Simply, you have to put your first name, last name, and some simple creation of account steps. So let's do that real quick. Here, Lori, he love, and you just fill everything else by yourself. So email, uh, email, and here password. And as you see now, I have created the account successfully. Click on here to add a number to protect your account no more, or else you can just click on Read Me Later. So let's do this, and continue to Squarespace, or to Square. Now let's wait a little bit and they took us back here for some reason. So let's do that once more. I have no idea what is this bug about, but let's do that. So as you can see, all right, this is really bug as you can see. Let me just do this again. All right, here as you can see, I want a personal website. So let's try Webly websites. And here you are going to select a theme. So as you can see here, simply just choose a theme that will be fitting your kind of business or portfolio, whatever it is. So here you will find multiple kinds of themes that will fit multiple kinds of domains from business, portfolio, personal, events, blog, and here you will find some coming soon. So it will be, well, it's not available for now, and then others. So for example, for a blog, you will have these kinds of templates, events, these kind of templates, personal as well, and the same go for portfolio. And you might say that there are some limited amount of templates that you can use. Well, yeah, this is the case because you have the free version. So let's keep going with this free version and let's choose this one. Here you have to choose and pick the kind of um the template that you'd like so let's choose this one i guess um i will go for another one actually so okay let's go for this one and let's click on it and then go to start editing through here like that we have went into the actual website we have created it we do have everything ready so here it is our website in front of us now, what can we do to actually add products? So if I click here, for example, and I want here, you will not really find the things that you are looking for. The first thing that we must do is simply go to add section and click on add featured items. So let's we'll click here and then let's choose something. For first, let me just go to the desktop mode and check if there were here. All right, let's go for this one. All right, and then click on add. Here, you have to create an item. So let's click here to create an item. So let's go to more options. Let's wait it until it loads. Here it is. And now simply just give everything its information. Let's start from here. The item type, it is physical. Item title, iPhone X in my case. The clipboard, let's go here and get an image of iPhone X. I probably have it around here. So here it is. The price, I'm going to put it at 199 
and the set price let's go here for example 400 and here for 375 so for example the current price of iphone x is 400 but we're only selling it for 375 here the description. You can get the description for your products from ChatGPT, for example, or even like, um, I don't know, whatever kind of thing. So I'll just go here, give me a, a description for my iPhone X product on my eco website. So, sure, here's a description for iPhone X. Here, the iPhone X revolution, etc., etc. You can just copy this and paste it over here now here the visibility so if you'd like to add this item it can be either hidden and available or visible for us we're gonna keep it visible go here and simply here you have to put the information about the shipping so if you'd like to have it shipped pick up local delivery or self-serve order so in case you want to send it to someone outside your country, you'll have to check this. If pick up, that means someone will come to you and pick up the product, you check this. Local delivery, that means some delivery company in your local will deliver everything. You can check that and you, so go on. In here, put the shipping weight. Let's check if we have the weight of it here. Um, weight of the product. Let's check here. All right, this is good. So let's put that here and stock stock. Basically, you can have it, um, but I think it is only for the premium version if I'm not wrong. OK, never mind. So stock received 10. So let's say that, for example, we have about 10 stock. So update stock and we have for the iPhone X here the item ID. If you have the item ID, you can put it here and you can set up gift options as well. Finally here variations basically the variations as For example, we have iPhone X and iPhone X is black. There is a Gold color there is a white color gray color red color. They have variations So you can put them here the variations are not only type of color They might be also kind of versions. So for example, there is iPhone X there is iPhone XS and there is iPhone X Max and there is iPhone X Max Pro so it is really like they have very very too many variations so just have to click here add variation give it a name and add it as simple as that and of course each variation will give you the option to modify its price if it is the same price you keep it the same if not you just make it lower or higher so it depends on you if we went down here a little bit you will find modifiers so here will allow your shoppers to customize your item with modifications or custom text modifiers edited in your square online item library will also update in square item library basically let's say that you are selling cups so let's go here for example cups and you, if you'd like your customer to for example ask you to print their names over the cup or image or something like that you can allow that option from here so you can manage modifiers get your firm modifier here and just give them like everything that they can do and finally here the search engine optimization which is seo here you just have to put some SEO keywords that you know about your product to make your rankings in the search engine higher than it is supposed to be. Finally, when you finish with that, click on this button on the top corner. Save. And here we are. So as you can see, you, are, you have added an item to your store library. So basically, if I refresh the page, I must see the item over here. You can add buttons to shop now. You can item images. You can like image fade, swap image, zoom in. You can do whatever kind of thing you'd like to have. Uh, here, you can add section description. So these are the top product of the month. That's an example. And here it is, iPhone X, the thing that you have updated. So if I click on it, let me just try to shop now. It is not 
working because I'm on the edit mode but anyway this is it it is item details you can edit it from here and everything is working perfectly here you can add buttons as you can see you can change the color from here to this to this or that it is all up to you you can even I think make the button in the middle let me just check that real quick button and small large uh, nope I don't really I I can't yeah yeah uh, apparently I can't change the the where the button must be but overall that's how you can add product to your website the last thing to do is simply go and click on publish the site has been published as you can see and if I visited it from here and let wait the product is here if I clicked on it this store is not yet accepting payments because I didn't uh, add any payments method so when it is added just click here and the product will be actually added to your cart and you will be able to buy everything you'd like from here so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial